the people out there who are kind of questioning and, and disappointed in the way this season played out, what do you sure. want to say to them? I'm disappointed too. No one's more disappointed than I am in how the season's turned out. But I felt like some of these things are out of our control and that happens as a coach. UTEP football still have two games left, but with the Miners guaranteed their fifth losing season in Dana Dimmel's sixth year, questions have been circling for the past few weeks if Dimmel will see out his contract. Dimmel took over the program in 2018 and virtually had to rebuild it from the ground up after the Miners went 0-12 the season before. In his first two years, he grabbed just the two wins out of 22 games, and even though the growth wasn't showing in the form of dubs, it was evident he was having an impact. And come 2021, it was on full display. The Miners went 7-6 and and secured their first bowl game since 2014 and just the 15th in program history. After that, Dimmel received a pay bump and a two-year contract extension, and rightly so. That contract isn't set to expire until the end of next season. But after back-to-back -back years with his best roster of players here at UTEP and expectations at an all-time high and only disappointment to follow, it's hard to see that happening. Coach, I know you don't go on social media, but a lot of UTEP fans after the season are calling for your job. Why do you think you should see out your contract at the uh, very I'm least? Not gonna, I'm not going to answer that question. With all the injuries we had, I think that's a very unfair question to ask. Thank you. And to Dimmel's credit, there have been a heck of a lot of injuries. Dimmel actually told me today that number is at 25 or 26 guys, and a lot of them are in pivotal positions. Starting quarterback Gavin Hardison hasn't played since week five, and today we learned that he won't be back this season after having surgery last week. Meanwhile, leading wide receiver Tyreen Smith only played three games before getting injured, as well as a plethora of others. Now, if UTEP don't think that's a good enough reason to keep Dimmel, they are well within their rights to let him go a season early, but it would come with a hefty payout fee. Dimmel is set to receive a base salary of $850,000 next season. They would have to pay him 65% of that plus a couple of extra months. So you're looking at over a $667,000 buyout. Now it's no $76.8 million Jimbo Fisher buyout from Texas A&M, but it is a lot of money for the UTEP program. Really for me, this decision comes down to if, if Athletic Director Jim Senna values money or winning more. Considering their fierce rivals just up the road in the, U in the NMSU Aggies are finding insane success on the field with back-to-back -back bowl games and a Conference USA title berth in their first year in the league, something UTEP hasn't achieved in their 19 years. It's hard not to see Center going the way of winning. I asked him today if he's had any conversations with Dimmel in recent weeks about his future with the program, and he told me he hasn't. I fully expect Dimmel, at the very least, will finish out the remaining two games, but then it'll come down to Senna and what he chooses to do.